In this video, we're going to take a look at solving the following systems of linear equations with uh, the addition or elimination method. Your book may refer to it as addition or elimination depending on your book. And so I will refer to it as elimination because it tends to uh, kind of meld in better with Gaussian elimination for matrices since they are effectively the same thing. So step one, I always want to work with my equations until they're all in standard form. If they're not in standard form, the addition, uh, the addition method really hurts. And so go ahead and put them in standard form. Now I'm going to color code these so that we know which, uh, which particular uh, set of equation or which equation we are working with. I'm going to have the top one be red, and so I'm going to take this top one and I'm going to solve it so that it has all my x's and y's on one side and my 16 on the other. So I have 2y equals negative 6x plus 16. I'm going to add 6x to both sides to move it over to the left side. And now I'm going to do this on purpose, but this is 2y plus 6x equals 16. If, if you recognize what I did wrong, um, I'm doing it on purpose. If you don't recognize what, I'm did, what I did wrong, give me about 30 seconds. And so the second one, though, 10x plus 5y is equal to 20, and it's in standard form, ax plus by equals c. Now, most people, when they're working with it, will be able to move the variables from one side to the other. However, we might skip something, or they might not see that one of them or, or some of the equations are not written in standard form. So the second step is meant to, meant to fix that. Rearrange the equations until all the, of the standard form equations are written in alphabetical order of variables. You'll notice that in my first attempt here, 2y plus 6x, it's not in alphabetical order. x before y. So I need to rearrange that so that it says 6x, oops, don't want to do that. Change my colors here. 6x plus 2y equals 16. If a variable is missing from an equation, it helps to put a zero as the coefficient and put it in there anyway. This is especially true for three or more variables and three or more equations. It's not going to affect us in this one. And so I can bring down my 10x plus 5y is equal to 20. Now this next step I'm going to insert. It is not one of my hardcore steps, but I find it very helpful. And I'm going to call this 2a and I'm going to say uh, reduce or simplify simplify the equations and what I mean by that is if you have any common factors for example the top one has a common factor of 2 the bottom one has a common factor of 5. Each one of the terms has a common factor of 5 in it. And so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to multiply that out or the effect is divided out, but I don't want to use division or, or subtraction when dealing with systems. It tends to be very bad. Most people get messed up with it, so I don't want to do that. Instead I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal, which is 1 half. And I'm going to multiply the bottom one by 1 fifth. All this is going to do is simplify the way they, that they look. This bottom one will then become uh, 2x plus y is equal to 20. The top one will then become uh, 3x plus y equals... Oh, 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 ow, 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 ow. That is not 20. My apologies. That is... I sat there, looked at my notes, and then still got it wrong. How about that? Uh, that is a 4. And on the top we have 3x plus y is equal to 8. There, that's better. Even agrees with my notes. So this is going to be our new system that we're going to be dealing with. The next step is to choose a variable to eliminate. Now, when I do this, I tend to choose variables that have a plus 1 coefficient. The reason is, I don't have to multiply it by too much to get rid of it. And so I'm going to choose y y is going to be my my uh, variable that I choose to eliminate. That's all step three is. That, that's it. 
Now step four, choose two equations. The idea behind this is that you could be working with three or more equations. You're only going to choose two. And then you're going to eliminate one of the variables from that pair. So if the chosen variable in both equations has the same coefficient with an opposite sign, you're done. You don't have to really do anything for step two or step four other than choose two equations. Otherwise, we're going to have to find the least common multiple of the coefficients and multiply one or both of the equations by the appropriate amounts to yield equal but opposites for that coefficient. Now, we chose y. It already has a, a coefficient of 1 for each, but they need to be opposite in sign. And so, when we come down here, we're going to say this is 3x plus y equals 8 and the bottom equation was 2x plus y equals 4. I can't have the same sign. I have to have opposite. I'm going to choose to multiply the bottom one by negative 1 to change the sign on y. That's the only one I care about. The rest of it can just, it, if it changes, great. If it doesn't, that's fine. But I'm going to go ahead and distribute this negative 1 to each of the three terms. And so it really becomes negative 2x minus y equals negative 4, and the top one stays the same. That's step 4. Step 5 is a long one, but there's really not as much to do here as it looks. It says add, two of the, uh, add the two equations together variable column to variable column. That means that if I've got x's, I add all my x's together. If I have y's, I add my y's together. That's it. Finally, add the constants column to get the resulting constant. So at this point, you should have one, one less variable because we chose a variable to eliminate, and this is that elimination step. If you don't, you've chosen incorrectly, or worse, you've added incorrectly. The other third option is that you could have multiplied incorrectly. So go back to step four. You, you can choose any variable you want, but you have to be careful about how you multiply. If you have one equation and one variable, when you're done with step five, you're done. That's it. You don't need to go back and do anything else. If you're working with three or more equations and three or more variables, you're going to need to do it again. And I can work on that in a, in a subsequent video. However, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go back to my equations here, and so off to the side I've got 3x plus y equals 8. I have negative 2x minus y equals negative 4, and I'm going to go ahead and add those together. When I do, my result, and I'm going to have in blue just because it's a result, 3 plus negative 2x is going to give me a positive 1x y plus negative y is going to give me a plus 0 y. 1 minus 1 is 0. And then I have 8 plus a negative 4 is 4. And now 1x is actually x. 0 times y, doesn't matter what y is, it's 0. x plus 0 is x equals 4. We have found the value of x. Here's where it changes from a, from a video that I have done before. In a, pre, in, a, in a previous video that I have made, I substituted this back into one of the equations from step 2a or from the original set. In this video, I'm going to go back and I'm going to eliminate x, and I'm going to solve for y. Sometimes it's easier to do this than it is to use substitution, typically because of fraction, the fractions are present. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to work on the side of everything, and I'm going to go back to 3. I'm going to choose x to eliminate. And so I am now going to choose x. Let's go ahead and change that to green. And I'm going to rewrite these equations in different colors so that, I, so that you understand I'm doing them over again. 3x plus y equals 8. And in dark blue, I'm going to put 2x plus y equals 4. Step 4 says choose two equations, already did. 
If the chosen variable in both equations has the same coefficient, it does not because I've chosen x. Otherwise, find the, uh, find the least common multiple of the coefficients and multiply one or both of the equations by the appropriate amounts to yield equal but opposites for that coefficient. The least common multiple, the least common multiple of 2 and 3 is 6. So these are going to be 6. I want them to be 6. What I'm going to have to do to achieve it is I'm going to have to multiply the top by 2 and the bottom by 3. I can do this because they are different equations. I'm not, it's not like I'm multiplying one side of the equation by 2 and the other by 3. I'm multiplying two different equations by two different amounts. Now here's the kicker. They're still both positive. I've got to make one negative. Doesn't matter which one you choose. Just throw a negative sign in there. Now go ahead and complete step 4. If I distribute my 2 across, I get 6x plus 2y equals 16. You're like, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We already had this one. This was what we started with, and then we changed it. Yeah, I know, sometimes that happens. You'll notice the second one, however, doesn't look like it's original. It's negative 6x minus 3y is equal to negative 12. And now we have something that looks a little different. So this is step four. Now what we can do is we can take these in step four and we can continue on in step five with them. I'm going to go ahead and recopy them down below. So this is going to be 6x plus 2y equals 16. And the dark blue is going to be a negative 6x minus 3y equals negative 12. And just like before, I'm going to add them together. I'm adding the equations, so that's why I put the bottom in parentheses. 6 plus a negative 6 is 0x. 2 plus a negative 3 is negative y is equal to 16 plus a negative 12 is positive 4. That means that this is 0. 0 times anything is 0. Negative y equals 4, or dividing by negative 1 on both sides, I have y is equal to negative 4. There's my other variable. So it took a little longer to do it this way with this particular example. However, there are plenty of examples that I've done where this is much faster. It's just faster. And it usually has a lot to do with the particular coefficients that you're having to deal with. So try it both ways. See what happens. You know, if you have any questions, you're obviously, you know, go ask your instructor, go ask your tutor. Uh, otherwise, you're more than welcome to go ahead and comment on the video and ask me, and I'll, I'll see if I can clarify it. By the way, your solution, not quite done. Your solution is a point x comma y. It's still the point 4, negative 4.